All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Welcome back to No Filter MMA. This is your boy BJ back with another video short. Guys, I have to say, like, I have a new, I have a new level of respect for Tracy Cortez. You know, I always said like she wasn't memorable, like because her other fights, I couldn't tell you the first thing about them. Like even the fight with Gatto, it does. I don't remember anything about it. You know, what I mean, it just is what it is. But this fight right here with Jasmine Jazavizis, man, like Tracy Cortez. She got a little bit of dog in her, and I and I recognize it. You know what I'm saying? Like she got some, she got some dog, and her hands have significantly improved. Man, I mean, like she went out there with Jasmine Jazz Davizius, you know what I'm saying, and fought her ass off and dug deep. You know what I'm saying? Even got to the point, you know, because you look at you look at girls like Tracy Cortez. And Mackenzie Dern, you look at the pretty girls, you know what I'm saying? And, and some people don't think that they'll get, you know what I'm saying, dirty and nasty with you, you know what I'm saying? But in, in all actuality, you know, most of them will, you know? And Tracy Cortez just showed me that she can get there, or she can go there. And she went there with Jasmine Jazavizius, you know? I mean, Jasmine, of course, I, I was expecting Jasmine to have the advantage in the punch selection and, you know, the long straighter shots. Um, I, I expected her to, I, I expected her to give Tracy Cortez some adversity in, in that department for sure. Like, you know, I felt like she would, she would give her that, but man, Tracy Cortez was the one man with the hooks, you know what I'm saying? Like landing them on Jasmine. And it was a close fight. I'm not going to say Tracy Cortez, the, you know, landslide beat Jasmine Jazavizius, but, you know, she, it was, it was close. It was a close fight. It could, it, it actually could have swung either way. You know what I'm saying? But I, I say it was a victory for Tracy Cortez just because Jasmine bought a different side out of Tracy Cortez and I, that I haven't seen before. I haven't seen this side of, <clears throat> excuse me, y'all. I haven't seen this side of Tracy Cortez. I didn't. I don't. I didn't know that Tracy Cortez could dig deep like this. You know what I'm saying? So this was this fight was kind of a revelation to me. Now going forward, you know, my narrative on Tracy Cortez will be different. You know what I'm saying? It, it has to be different after this fight because she went out there, man. Whew, like Tracy Cortez went out here and 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 had to dig deep because Jasmine Jastavizzi is wasn't going to go anywhere. You know, that was that was the thing about Jazz, like, um, Jazz DeVizis, that she wasn't going to go anywhere. You know, Tracy Cortez, to me, does didn't have the power to knock out Jasmine, and she also couldn't position... Get, I don't think she was capable in this fight of getting Jasmine to a point where she could submit her. You know what I'm saying? So she had no choice but to bang it out with Jasmine because... Jasmine wasn't going for that grappling shit. Like, Jasmine wasn't going for that submission shit. You know, man, I just have to say, I have a newfound respect for Tracy Cortez. You know, not, maybe I need to go back and watch Tracy Cortez. Like, I'm being self-critical here, you know what I'm saying? Like, maybe I'm the one that needs to go back and watch some Tracy Cortez footage. Watch Rewatch re that fight with um, Melissa Gatto, you know what I'm saying? And, and maybe go watch the Aaron Blanchfield fight they had in Invicta 2, like, Maybe I'm the one that's behind. Maybe I need to go freshen up on my Tracy Cortez because now, you know what I'm saying, I have to give her credit for being known as a grappler but coming out with the hands and not being afraid. Just that what the last fight that she was in. Oh, oh. The last fight that she was in, she didn't, she didn't, she didn't pull the trigger like this. You know what I'm saying? Like she wasn't. Her hands didn't look like this in her last fight. But, I mean, this is a solid win for somebody who's been gone for a while. You know, Jasmine, that Jasmine Business has been climbing through the ranks. So I have to give her credit. You know what I'm saying? I have to say that this was a solid win for Tracy Cortez. You know what I'm saying? So, well, you know, it is what it is. But let's see what's next for Cortez. You know, maybe if, uh, um, maybe a Miranda Maverick or maybe an Andrea Lee or maybe a Natalia Silva. Or Karine Silva. So we'll see. This is your boy BJ back from No Filter MMA. Drop those comments in the comment section. Hit that like. Hit that dislike. And if you guys haven't already, hit that subscribe button. And your boy is out.